Hello and welcome to Iskaria.com. My name is Dr. Heather Ali. With Iskaria.com, you can enjoy lectures anywhere and anytime. Today, I'm going to talk about acute diarrhea. Let's go through the timeline. So first, we will talk about what is acute diarrhea. How do you define a diarrhea? What are the different types of diarrhea? For example, secretory diarrhea, osmotic diarrhea. What are the causes of diarrhea? Next would be adequate history. What are the red flags about uh, of diarrhea? What questions you need to ask in a patient with coming to you in acute diarrhea? What are what are the associated symptoms that you need to look for in a patient with acute diarrhea? What are the dangerous signs? which can lead, which can make you realize this patient is in swear uh, fluid deficit or needs fluid replacement. How would you know? How would you recognize? Will be discussed under this uh, lecture. What are the signs and symptoms that you come across uh, or you, what are your, what might be, you, you might, what might you see on examination in patients with acute diarrhea? And what are the red flags and or warning signs in those patients and in those examination that can give you a hint or can make can, and can make you understand this patient needs extra treatment and extra extra care. And what are the signs and symptoms that especially in pediatric population and pap and population in adult population that you can realize that this patient cannot is not uh, is not rehydrated adequately and needs adequate treatment. So this will be discussed under the, under this section. Next would be do what are the main diagnostic studies or tests and investigations that that are required in emergency department to assess the, this patient and to get to the diagnosis. Although it's most of the time viral in etiology, but simple blood tests can give you a lot of information. For example, electrolyte imbalance and complete blood count may might show any signs of dehydration. For example, increased hematocrit. Next would be, are there any radiological studies that are indicated in these patients, in patients who are coming with diarrhea, or you're suspecting any obstruction or any other things. Radiological studies, for example, in elderly patients. What are the differential diagnosis? What organisms produce toxins? Which organisms produce invasive, which are in organisms are in invasive organisms? What are and what parasitic organisms cause diarrhea? And what are the non-infectious causes of diarrhea? These would be explained in this section. What are the general treatment principles? How to approach in a patient with a diarrhea and vomiting? What to do, what not to do? What to do first? And even if you don't know the diagnosis, what to do, how to resuscitate a patient with acute diarrhea? What to look for again, the signs of dehydration, or the signs of shock, hypoperfusion, and how to manage those signs and, uh, and uh, examination findings. General treatment principles, what should be done? What should be the part of the general treatment principles in acute diarrhea? What should be given if they require antibiotics, anti antibiotics? What is the fluid resuscitation in these patients? How should be the patient given fluid resuscitations? They might be given oral or IV. What are the indications for oral uh, Re, uh, oral fluid and rehydration and what are in indications of IV fluid hydration. Special patients which include periodic population, elderly, what are the difference between patients who are normally in adults uh, with those of pediatric and elderly, elderly population, the patients who are already immunocompromised, for example in HIV patients or patients going through any chemotherapy or going through any radiations or po are post renal transplant post transplant renal transplant liver transplant patients who are who have a history of traveling to uh, different underdeveloped developed countries where sanitation and hygiene is not adequate should be would be discussed under this section what would be the disposition of this patient of the patients should they be sent home should they be sent on what ground should be admitted in the hospital and what further they might need if they are sent home what are the guidelines guidance uh, or to uh, guidance or education a, a provider, a care provider should be you should be giving to a patient with acute um, diarrhea while they are going home should be would be discussed under this lecture. 
With Scalia.com, you can enjoy thousands of lectures on basic sciences, clinical sciences, and much more. You can watch complete lectures on Scalia.com. You can enjoy your free trial, so sign up today. Thank you for watching.